What's up, people? It's your boy Spaces Man, and today we're taking a look at a brand new plugin from Excite Audio called Motion Harmonic. Is this the new wave of effects? I don't know, man. Let's check it out and see. Now, before we get started, make sure that you subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, make sure that you like, make sure that you comment, all those different things that you could do for free. <laughs> get those things taken care of. Let's take a look at Motion Harmonic. Now, I have to say that you already know I don't bring nothing to this channel unless it's something that I enjoy using. And this one right here is one that I truly enjoy using. It's an interactive sound shaping effect chain that is designed to add movement to your audio. Now let's be honest, in the world of plugins and VSTs, it is hard to catch the attention of users because there are so many different things that all come to one common goal. They can be done by other things. But when you have one that add movement and you have one that combine a bunch of different effects to make one, it becomes very interesting. And for myself, every now and then I come across that one that just grabs my attention. And this is one of them. Now the idea of this from Excite Audio is to ignite your creative flow. And you know over here, we're all about creation and being creative. So you know this was one that I just had to jump on. Now there's three main parts of this that they're really focusing on, which is distortion, filters, and bit crushing. It has some dynamic responses to transforming your audio. And it has this automated 3D hexagon controller that allows like movement to sound. And you know this stuff is right up my alley. It even offers six macro sliders that can be assigned to control any part of this effect chain that they have here. It's crazy because the sliders react to this uh, magnetic kind of feel. You can kind of push it away. You can kind of pull it to you. You'll understand it a whole lot better once I show it to you. Right now, you can get this at Plugin Boutique for $49. $49 you can have this. There's also a light version for $29.99. I do have some affiliate links in the description and you already know if this is something that you would use, go ahead and purchase. There's no difference in the price. It just helps the channel allow me to continue to get different things like this and test it before you spend your money on it. And if you want to, you can go ahead and screenshot right here. This is the difference between the full and the light. Okay, so let's break this down. And it's very, very important that you understand the three main parts of this effect chain, which is bit crushing, distortion, and filtering. It will allow you to kind of really understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. But also, if you decide that you just want to go crazy with it, just go crazy with it. You never know what sound you create. So have fun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description that's going to give you a full breakdown of it. I just want to kind of focus on the way it looks and the way it sounds. That's kind of where I stick to. So with that in mind, I want to go over some of the presets and then I'm going to show you how to create your own and then we'll just kind of see what it sounds like and go from there. Here it is. This is Motion Harmonic. As you can see, it is bubbling. It's bubbling right here in front of your face. Uh, now, this thing here is broken down into many different pieces. Uh, this is an area where you can bypass it or activate it here. You can actually play your animation here. This is settings. You can add different things here and I'll tell you exactly how this all operates once I show you how to create them. This right here is the in and out puts. And if you go up here to the top and you click this little area here, this is where you can activate your full copy here. If you click this little button here, it's gonna open up the actual settings that you can use. 
and this will activate where your cursor heck the gun your pathway your timeline all that good stuff and you'll kind of understand what all this means once we start doing this so let's check out some of the presets and what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this down into a couple different parts i have a vocal i have drums i have like a synth and i have a bass and we're going to out of those four i'm going to show you what opportunities are there for your sound and creating your own signature sound all right so the first thing we're going to do is check out some of the vocals i have a vocal that i already have in place here i'm just going to play it so you can hear what it naturally sounds like i could take you anywhere all i see is you and me i could take you anywhere we don't have to hide, to hide, to Right, and so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the area here. This is gonna bring up the browser. And so you have all these different categories that you can use, different filters. You can set up your favorites, your path, cursor, your effect and mapping. I'm gonna show you what all of that means. Don't even worry about it. But right now, what we're gonna do is click on vocals and let's kind of go through a couple of these vocals to see what they sound like. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. I could take you anywhere. We don't have to hide, to hide, to hide. I could take you anywhere. And so what I want to do is I want to kind of show you how this is all set up. So you have this cursor here and you have these different things and all of this will tell you exactly what it does if you hover over it. The main thing that I want you to see is that this attract and this repel. What that means is, is that when you see this bubble, it's going to be a magnetic field. So it's going to pull towards it. When you have the repel, it's going to be like a negative magnet and it's going to push it away from it, right? So as long as I have a track in, it's going to like go to wherever I have my mouse where you can see that bubble. I'm going to hit this for repel and it's going to kind of push it away, right? So now if I play this. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. And so you hear I could take you anywhere. the different sounds in it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another one. And this one, if you notice this little deal here, this will give you a path and a cursor. And so what I'm going to do, let's just do like second vocal, right? And so now I'm going to play this and I could take you anywhere. You hear the difference? All this is you and me. And what's going on? Now, the main thing here that I want to show you is this little circle right here. This little circle right here is a pathway. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this to repel. And then I'm going to hit this little play button here. And it's going to react to this circle. And it's going to make these little dots do some different things and create some different sound. So let's see what that sounds like. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. I could take you anywhere. We don't have to hide, to hide, to hide. Now this is very subtle. Now one thing I want to do is, is that I want to come here and I'm going to change a couple of things, right? So I want this to keep going like it's going but i'm going to speed this up here if i drag it down it's just going to speed it up right and i can sync this to re-trigger what that is going to do is every time this loop goes around again it's going to reset this to re-trigger now i'm going to go ahead and attract this time I'm going to do a track because the, the circle is bigger and I want to see, I want you to hear what it actually sounds like to do it this way. So here we go. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. I could take you anywhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up so you can really hear it. Matter of fact, here's what I'll do. 
I'm going to come here to the timeline. I'm going to double click here. It's going to create a little pinpoint. I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to do this one here. It's going to drag it down. And then I want it to go back up here and drop. Right. So it's going to work in this where it's going to speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. And I'm going to leave it at one fourth. And matter of fact, I think I might even make it a little faster just so you can hear it. And so I'm going to go ahead and play this. I can take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. I can take you anywhere. We don't have to hide, to hide, to hide. All right. It's very subtle on this particular one. Um, later on, I'm going to create one, and then you'll really get a chance to really hear what it sounds like. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the bass. I want you to hear that, and we'll see what kind of presets they have to show what the bass does. All right. So I have the bass here, and that bass is very simple. It's going to play like this. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. I could take you anywhere. We don't have to hide, to hide, to hide. All right, so a very simple bass. And we're going to go ahead and choose one of the bases. And I want to do, let's do like a bass ocean here. And I'm going to activate this. I'm just going to leave it the exact way that they have it here and just kind of see what the pathway is. It's going up and down pretty much like that. So I'm going to play it here. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. I could take you anywhere. We don't have to hide, to hide, to hide. Right? And so. I can go here to show you exactly what it's doing. So it's adding a little bit of bit crush here. It's adding a little bit of distortion here. Now, how can you tell that? You have this gray button here, and then you have the red one on the outside, which is actually doing the automation. Now, let's just say, if I wanted to add some character to this, right? I can come here, and let's say I want to add it to number three. So I'm going to add some character there. And I have a minimum and a maximum, right? And so as you can see, as you can tell, in this little area here is barely moving, right? And so what I want to do, I don't want it to go all the way. I want it to go about there. And we'll say the minimum will be about here, right? So you can tell in this area is going to go from here to here when I play this. So I'm going to go ahead and play this again so you can actually just kind of see it in action here. I could take you anywhere All I see is you and me And so also what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here And I'm going to go ahead and make it repel And see if we can change up some of the sounds Here we go I could take you anywhere All I see is you and me I could take you anywhere So you can hear a little bit of that bit crushing going on. You can hear a little bit of that distortion going on. It's very, very subtle the way that they have it. This plugin can be used with taste. You can use it a lot. You can use it less. It may be something that just add a little ear candy. Maybe it's something that you really want to experiment with. Hey, however you want to do it. It is all up on you. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to add this to a little bit of synth and see if we can come up with something that is pretty moving on that synth and just kind of see what it sounds like with one of the presets. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and play this uh, with this synth pad. I'm just going to play it the way it sounds. Here we go. I could take you anywhere. All I see is you and me. Right now, what I'm going to do here, we're going to go in again. We're going to find something. Let's go to creative. Let's go find some creative. Let's say we want to go here to an abstract path three. Let's see what this actually sounds like with that synth pad. All right, so I cleared all of this, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of this bit death here. 
we're gonna add that do we don't want it to be a hundred we'll bring it down here and we'll say we'll go from let's just say about here right and so then we'll add a little bit of that dynamic you got to grab this whole little deal here add some dynamic we're going to get crazy with the dynamic right we're going to add a little bit here let's do that and then we're going to add some distortion let's do distortion over here we'll bring it down maybe here something like that little that dynamic add that there and we're going to do a little bit of the filter and we'll do a high pass we'll add that over here on six and we'll go crazy with that and so now that we've added a couple things here let's just kind of see what happens with this synth sound i can take you anywhere all this is you and me now as you can tell it added a whole lot of big crush a whole lot of distortion we just kind of went crazy with it it probably wouldn't be something that i would normally do just depending on what the actual sound of this track is that we're working on but what i want to do now is add drums and let's see what we can come up with with the drum all right so now we have drums on him go ahead and play what we normally have right now right so now let's go ahead and we're going to find something in the drums and we're going to, I don't know, let's do, um, they got so many different things you can do with this. Let's do mystical sweep. Let's see what this sounds like. And it's already making noise and it ain't doing it yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and play this. Now this can be very, very interesting when it comes down to drums because that almost sounds like something that you can kind of add at the end going into a transition. Maybe you want to go into like the chorus. Maybe you want to go into a breakdown or something. Like that can be really dope with that if it's did correctly, right? So let's go ahead and let's kind of create one and let's just see how we how far we can take this thing. Let's check it out. Okay, so now that we see what it's already doing so what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to create one on our own so we see the timeline is doing what it's doing so we're going to go ahead and stop that timeline right now we see this line is just a straight line that's that's all it's doing is just coming here and going back so what i'm going to do is i want to draw and i'm going to take my little pen here this is going to be to add points to the path right so I'm going to take this and then I'm going to go here with it. I'm going to go up here. Then I'm going to go here and here. Let's just do it. We're just clicking some, right? And if you ever want to take one away, you can hit this and then just erase it. But we're going to go ahead and add it here just like that. And we're going to kind of end up back over here in this area, right? Now, you can also record this if you wanted to. If you hit record and you just kind of move it around and it'll follow whatever you do but right now for this particular demonstration we'll do it like this we're going to go ahead and activate the play and then we'll go ahead and play from here Alright, so again, what we're going to do from here, we're going to go ahead and double click. We're going to speed it up here. 
Then we're going to bring it down here like this and just kind of see what we get here. Here we go. I could take you anywhere. All the same is you and me. I could take you anywhere. We don't have to hide. Okay, and so now that we have drawn in what we want this to do, I have this triggered here to turn this on and off. So it's basically bypass and activate. And so what I'm going to do is, is just kind of play this in a way in real life situation and what this could look like based on the actual track. So here's what it would sound like. First, we'll do it off. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on for the effect. Turn it back off. And that right there is just as cool as it get. I mean, it's, just, it's no other way to say that. Now let's talk about my final thoughts on the whole thing. I absolutely love these kind of plugins because of the movement that it allow you to have with the track. Even if you want it um, to make a track do a couple different things throughout the track, you can put it on there. Maybe you can put this in like a bus track and then create something for the entire track. Maybe you want your drum, like the example that we did. You want to play it, but you want it to do something else besides cut out or fade down or whatever, reverse or rise or whatever the case may be. It's just a different way to create different things that you can do for your music and your sound. Music is about creativity how creative you can be, how much you can push the music, the sound, the different things that you're trying to do. How creative can you be? How unique can you be to your own creative sound? So if this is something that you're interested in, remember there's a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, it goes to the channel. But you can get this, be a great arsenal to your repertoire. So click that link to get your copy of Motion Harmonics. And as always, before I sign out, what will you do with your creative spaces? Until the next video, man. Peace. <laughs>